in the midst of all that success, when do you start planning your second act and, and how does that work? Can you take us through a little bit of the process? Yeah, you know, it's, it's interesting because when you're a WNBA player, you probably should start planning your second act sooner rather than later. And honestly, if you're an NBA player or any other sport as well, because what we see going on right now in college sports is the name, image, and likeness. People are starting to understand the concept that you are your own brand. And athletes, it's getting drilled in for athletes because now with the collegiate athletes, we see that they can make money off of their name, image, and likeness, which is what we call nil. And so I want everybody to understand that. That's the thing that I think is important. Like when you think about name, image, and likeness, and brands, well, if you have a Twitter, you have your own brand. If you have social media, if you're doing any side hustle, you are your own brand. And I think the best thing that's coming from the college sports allowing for amateur athletes to get paid is that people are really starting to realize the power of being your own brand. And so when I was a player, I took that very serious. I took a, I took my brand serious in the sense of how did I go to practice? Well, you're I'm going to go to practice in a good mood. I'm going to go to practice knowing my scout. I'm going to practice ready every single day because that's my brand. And so you start to build your brand. I want my brand to be reliable. I want my brand to be trustworthy. I want you to make me your captain because then that says something about my brand as well. And then that's so to answer your question, I've always thought about my brand and my second act because I knew that what people see you as as an athlete, it's only going to be amplified once you enter your second act. So if people think that I'm trouble in the WNBA, well, a company's not going to want to hire me because I already don't have the work experience per se, like the typical work per se, um, experience. And then they're going to think, oh, man, if she wasn't on it in basketball, then why would she be on it over here in the office where it might not be as exciting? So I kind of always kept that in mind. And then in 2019, you know, I wanted – to start my foundation. And so that was the first actual step in my, my second act that I started. It wasn't even with TV or entertainment. It was my foundation in 2019, becoming a 501c3, that that's where I think my the first step in my second act started. But again, I've, I've always thought about it because I always understood that your brand will follow you wherever you go. 